Thank you, Kita, for cooking me this pizza. Uh, I really wish you gave me the box before you did this, but uh, this is the California Pizza Kitchen. Uh, signature pepperoni, crispy, thin crust pizza. Topped with thoughtfully selected ingredients, which I won't even mention because I should probably try and figure out what they are. Honestly, I wish you sliced this better, but considering the fact that you held it with one hand and use this, not surprised really. Yeah, thank you for the bottle. Honestly, clean your palate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. Mm, all right. Man, I haven't tried pizza in a long time. Hmm. You know what? I should have done a close up. Oh. Definitely crispy, I will say that. This is a crispy pizza. At least from the edge, so that's at least one thing you want in pizza. There's a small hint of spice into it, but it's really subtle. Oh, went through the plate. Huh. Pretty sure I've tried better pepperoni, but it's decent. What is this? I think that was just some cheese that was there. Ooh, this must be the tomatoes. Well, it's not as sweet. But there's this ni nice, nice flavor to it. Ooh, this is, oh, you can hear that. Pretty weird, like only the outside. I guess he didn't cook it properly. Mmm. But he definitely gave a nice crunch. And thankfully, this time I have a plate, so just gotta make sure the crumbs stay inside. Honestly, it's not that bad. I think the screen part is the gouda. Oh, it has basil in it. That's what it is. Green. Mmm. Slight, slight spice to it in the back of my tongue. But I like it. I like it. Oh, man. I really do have the habit of eating the crust first. Not bad. Let's see. Okay. So definitely basil. Definitely. There's like three types of cheese on this. Obviously the tomato. That one actually tasted better. Pepperoni. Should clean my palate. <sighs> hmm. That's decent. It's definitely not like greasy. Wait. Hmm. Yeah, it's good. Honestly, I never trust the box. Because as you saw from my pizza, that does not look anything like it. That is obviously just... Like, that the pepperoni doesn't even look the exact same 
This is a whole lot redder. Bright orangey kind of thing. Crust may be the same. I don't know. I'm not sure how you're supposed to really cook this. To get that. I'm pretty sure that is just some weird amount of paint and plastic to get that. But, huh. this is a flatbread, right? Okay, so what was supposed to have in here? Pepperoni, vibe, vine ribbon. Vine ripened tomatoes, basil. Oh, I got that right. Mozzarella, obviously. Hickory smoked gouda. I was right about gouda. And Fontina cheese. I do not know what that is. It's just a cheese. Over a zesty marinara sauce. I think I just prefer having a bit more marinara sauce. But this has no artificial flavors. And it's got preserved free crust and 100% real cheese. I really question what pizza serves you. Fake cheese. But whatever. Obviously, California Pizza Kitchen. What's their story? Usually a box like this has a story on this. Uh, at California Pizza Kitchen, we search the best ingredients available, find inspiration in each carefully crafted cheese, vine ripened tomato, and perfectly balanced pepperoni. The thoughtful creation of recipes and passion for mindful ingredients are at the core of every delicious pizza we offer. Mm, okay, let's throw more. So to those like us who approach, approach food with mindfulness and an adventurous spirit, we hope you just found a delicious new favorite from our kitchen to yours. And of course, there's uh, apparently for more amazing flavor experiences, and delicious salad pairing. Ooh, now that should have been something he did for me. Delicious salad pairings. Go to cpkfrozen.com. I won't. I don't want to. I just want food. It's okay. Not sure how I'd feel about having it again, but my answer would probably be no. Well, I usually don't try pizza or a bunch of other food other than bologna and eggs. Oh, I really don't try any food. Yeah, I should have done this a lot sooner. Oh well. Definitely not that into it. At least it's easy and comes in a box, but... I really think this is just for people who are like, Ah, oh, preservative-free. No artificial flavors. That's exactly what I want in a pizza. Except for taste. I don't need taste. I just need... No artificial flavors, and it's got to be preservative free. It's got to be. Otherwise, it's bad for me. I don't know. I don't know if it is bad. I don't know if it's good either. But, uh, I mean, just settle down a little bit. Go try something else every once in a while. Find something new. Like, I have anything else to say since I've been eating the exact same food for 27 years. Hmm. Oh, well, that'll be it. I'm gonna finish the slice and hopefully I can get other people to eat the rest of the pizza. I'm not really into it. But, whatever. That was a nice treat anyway. Try this. So, until then, and until next time, eat something new. Try something new. And get something better to cut this with. What the hell is this thing made out of? Are you sure, are you sure you're preservative free? Is this what preservative free crust is supposed to do for me? Make it really hard to cut this through. You know what? I probably wish you did not out of it. Would have had a darker crust. Wouldn't mind that.
and a little more sauce with the gravy. Oh, see you guys. P.S. I finally figured out what the pepperoni really reminds me of. It reminds me of the school cafeteria pepperoni. Just no. I mean, I, I'm okay with it. Just it's it, there's like four different types of pepperonis I've had in school. It reminds me of one of the ones that just like, ugh. All right, I'll eat it because free lunch. But no, just no. Just no. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Kid is the one that cooks, and I'm Sam, the one who judges. Thanks for watching. Till next time.